Hi everyone, this is Building Games on AWS. This is the final episode of the Game Analytics Pipeline series. Thank you so much for watching and following along and I really hope that you are able to learn something and take something away from this series. I just wanted to use this time to kind of summarize what we've learned here throughout the series and provide you with a path forward if you did want to continue your learnings about analytics on AWS for games. So some key takeaways, I hope you were able to really understand just how important analytics for games is and uh, understand that you can use analytics to make fast, well-informed decisions to do things like increase player engagement, better monetize your game by growing revenue, improve your infrastructure, and also do things like identify fraud and prevent player abuse. I hope you are also able to learn what type of data to collect, which really just depends on the questions you have and the answers that you're looking to get. And also the fact that data has a shelf life, so you do need to analyze data at various different speeds. And finally, I hope you are able to learn about the game analytics pipeline solution and get hands on exploring that solution in the AWS Management Console to learn more about it. So what's the path forward from here? Well, Game Tech has our Games Dedicated Learning Path that organizes all of our Game Tech courses into one place. So whether you're a solutions architect or a game developer, a data engineer, or a data analyst, this learning path provides structured guidance on where to begin your training and also next steps for continued learning. We also have a serverless game analytics workshop, which is a hands-on training lab that will prepare you to integrate the game analytics pipeline solution by getting you familiar with all of the services necessary to build, test, and deploy a serverless data analytics pipeline. And finally, we also have the Game Analytics Pipeline solution. And this is the landing page for the solution where you can find everything that you need to get started running the solution, including the assets, a reference architecture, the implementation guide, links to the GitHub source artifacts, and more. Again, thank you so much. Please let us know if you found this series helpful. If you have any questions or you want to see other tutorials by Solutions Architects here at AWS, please leave a comment in the comment section below. We really value our customers' feedback. Thanks again and bye everyone.